Lesson 7.4, Model Multiplying Fractions by Fractions. We can use an area model to show the product of two fractions. We have two-thirds times one-fourth. We divide our model into four equal parts and shade one-fourth. That's the multiplier. We shade one-fourth. Then we divide each of the four parts into thirds. So now we have thirds going this way. Then we choose a different color to shade two-thirds of the original, originally shaded part. And we count the number of parts shaded twice. We have one, two. So we're going to have a numerator two. And there are four, eight, twelve parts now. We have two-twelfths. We can write it in simplest form by dividing the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor, which in this case is a two. It's equal to 1 6. We have 2 of 12 parts shaded twice. We count what's shaded twice. So the part shaded twice is the numerator of the product. It's now split into 12 parts, and 2 of them are shaded twice. That's our numerator, 2. And the denominator is the total number of equal parts. It's now split into 12 parts. Our denominator is a 12. The numerator of the product represents a part of a part. So this 2 that we shaded twice is just a part of the whole 1 fourth. It's 2 thirds of this 1 fourth. So remember to write the product in simplest form. Here we have 1 half times 4 fifths. That means 1 half of 4 fifths, half of 4 fifths. We shade in 4 fifths of a model. We need to find half of this so we can split the model in half going horizontally across this way and we shade in half of the previously shaded part. We shade in half of these four bars. That would be half of 4 fifths. That'll give us 4 of 10 equal parts. Now that we've split it in half, we've divided it in half, there are 5, 10 in all, and these 4 are shaded twice. That means we have 4 tenths shaded twice. We divide the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor to write it in simplest form. We get 2 fifths. So this would fit a word problem such as Mrs. Kim had four-fifths pound of flour and she used half of it to bake cookies. That means she used two-fifths to bake cookies. When coloring our area models, we choose a lighter color such as yellow or pink or light blue, etc. And we choose a darker shade as the second color so we can easily see the part that was shaded twice. So we had four fifths, we color it with a light color like yellow, and we need half of the four fifths, so when we split it in half, we shade four of this half in a darker color like green or dark blue. We can easily see the area that was shaded twice. And if we don't have colors, you can shade it with a pencil lightly, and then shade darker with the pencil for the second color. And we can show a part of a part in different ways. We have one half times two thirds. We shade in two thirds of a circle and half of the shaded part would be one of the thirds. That would be one third of the whole. So one-half times two-thirds is equal to one-third. We can also divide each one-third piece into halves. So we cut this one in half and we cut this one in half, and now each part of the whole is one-sixth. We have one-sixth, one-sixth, one-sixth going all the way around. It's in six equal parts. We find half of each shaded piece. So half of this one would be one-sixth, and half of this piece would be one-sixth. That's two-sixths of the whole circle, and two-sixths simplifies to one-third. 
Here we have one-fifth times two-thirds. The two-thirds is called the multiplier. This second factor is called the multiplier. So for the first step, the multiplier is two-thirds, so we shade two of three equal parts of our model. And the second step is the denominator for the first factor is a five. So each one-third piece is going to be divided into five equal parts. So we have one, two, three, four, five equal parts going across horizontally. And we shade one-fifth of the yellow part that we shaded before. And one-fifth, because each of these are one-fifth, we shade one-fifth of the other originally shaded part. So we're not going to shade, we're not going to shade in this part with the second color, only the yellow part. See? And this is now in 15 pieces, and the twice shaded part is 2 of 15. We know the product is 2 fifteenths. And we know the product is in its simplest form when 1 is the only common factor for the numerator and denominator. And in this case, 1 is the only common factor. 2 fifteenths is in simplest form. Here we have one-third of a pizza that's left over. One-third, one-third, and this is one-third. After Tala has lunch, and Emma and Sarah each take half of the leftover pizza. So we split it in half. Here's Emma's part. Here's Sarah's part. But Emma eats only half of her portion. So what fraction of the whole pizza did Emma eat? So there was one-third left. Emma and Sarah split it in half. They each got half of that third, but Emma only ate half of her part. So first we need to find half of one-third. So that would be one-half times one-third. Well, that would be one-sixth. We would have one-sixth and as this area right here, splitting this one-third in half. Then we need to find half of that product. We had one-third, we split it in half, and now they're in sixths. But Emma only ate half of her six, so we need to find one-half times one-sixth. And that would be one-twelfth of the whole pizza eaten by Emma. Half of one-third is one-sixth, and half of one-sixth is one-twelfth. And if you notice what the numerators and denominators are doing, if we just go straight across, we have 1 for a numerator, numerator and 1 for a numerator. 1 times 1 is 1, and look at the denominators. 2 times 3 is 6. We just go straight across with the numerator, and we get a 1. We go straight across the bottom with the denominator, we get a 6. When we're multiplying 1 half times 1 6, we go straight across the numerator. 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 6 is 12. Look at that. Mrs. Kim is going to bake two batches of cookies. And the smaller batch is three-fourths the size of the larger batch. And the recipe for the larger batch requires one-third cup of brown sugar. How much brown sugar will she need to make the smaller batch? So think, we need to find three-fourths of one-third. Three-fourths times one-third. We shade in one-third of a model. And then we divide the model into four parts. Now we have 12 parts. We shade in three of those four parts. That's three twelfths. We have twice shaded three of the 12 parts in the whole model. We can divide three twelfths by three for the numerator and denominator because that's the largest common factor for a three and a twelve and it's equal to one fourth cup. And if you look, going across the numerator, three times one is three and four times three is twelve. Going straight across the numerator to get the numerator of the product, going straight across the denominator to get the denominator of the product, we have three twelfths. But we need to make sure we write it in simplest form as one-fourth. Please be very careful when shading the area model. 
we have one half times two fifths. We start by shading in two fifths of the model, the multiplier, the second factor. We shade in two of the five parts. We're multiplying it by one half. One half has a two denominator. So we divide the entire model by two, going across this way. Then we shade only half of the originally shaded area. See? We get two of ten parts. When you look at the numerator going straight across, one times two is two. When you look at the denominator going straight across, we have two times five is ten. It's two tenths. We have two of ten parts in all. We can simplify it to one fifth. So be very careful when you're shading. When you shade the second time, you're only shading half of the part that was shaded the first time, not the whole thing, okay? You're only shading half of the part that you shaded the first time. In our next lesson, 7.5, we're going to compare fraction factors and products. Have a wonderful day, and I hope I see you there. Bye!